Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Icon. Thank you so much for checking out another episode of Esports Analysis. In today's video, we're going to talk about the playoff implications that come from the Toronto homestead, and I'm going to give you my predictions for day one. So just real quick, before we go ahead and get into Group A, breaking it down, I'm going to tell you guys who I think is going to win. Group B, same thing. First thing I want to do is I want to talk about this playoff schedule, okay? So the reason why this is so important is because currently the top four seeds are all playing at this weekend's tournament. If we look at the seeding as it is right now, and this might be a little bit small for you guys to see, but either way, you'll be able to get what I'm saying here. So Atlanta, Dallas, Florida, and Chicago are all playing at this weekend's tournament. With that in mind, Atlanta has 250 points. Dallas has 240, so they're only down by 10 points. And then Florida and Chicago both have 220. So when you're thinking about that, basically any of these teams, if they go on a run and end up winning this tournament, could jump from fourth to first, could fall from first to third, could go from second to first. It could just go in and out. And let me tell you why this is so important. So as we look at the playoff bracket here, so... The bottom four teams, 9 through 12, are going to play on this very first day of competition in the playoffs, which is a Wednesday. After that, 5 through 8 are going to play on the next day. So you'll see that they are listed right here. So essentially, teams that are seated 5 through 8 are kind of getting a first round bye. And then whoever ends up losing in this matchup will then go down here and will face the winner of this matchup. So it's kind of like a first round bye, right? And there will be two of those. So then the bottom team will also end up facing the bottom team in that first day. But the reason why this is been so important is because the third and the fourth seed gets another bye. And then the first and the second seed get another buy. So by the time the first and the second seed play, there will have already been essentially four rounds before that, right? If you're really thinking about this in terms of rounds, this is day one, this is day two, this would be the third matchup, this would be the fourth matchup. So if you're in this tournament, this is super important just because of the fact that if you're Chicago, you have an option of really, so it based, based on your results for this tournament, you can either play as the four seed or you can go out and you can win this tournament and then you could be the one seed. So this really is going to have a bunch of different ways that it can sort out here. The one thing that I'll say is that because of the change of meta and the way things have happened at this point in time, most people would probably agree that right now you'd probably rather play Atlanta than play Dallas, right? So, of course, there's no way to like set this up and plan out which ones you're going to end up playing. But to me, the way that Dallas looked at our last event at CDL London, they absolutely looked like I mean, I would say that they're the best team in the game right now. So if they end up getting the number two seed, you would probably, if, again, if we go back to the, the, the standings right here, if they end up getting the two seed, you'd probably much rather be the four seed, right? Because let's just say if Dallas ends up going here, that's probably not who you want to play if you win your first matchup. So then I don't even want to be the three seed. I would want to be the four seed so that I avoid this matchup and I end up playing the first seed, which is Atlanta. But remember, this can go any way. I mean, there's a ton of different options here. Florida can be first. Florida can be fourth. Dallas can be first. Dallas can be fourth, just depending on how this weekend goes. So that is what is at stake right now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's talk about our day one matchups for this weekend. So first thing that we'll talk about is if you look at these two groups, you have group A, which has bottom of the league, Seattle, probably middle of the league, Toronto, and bottom third of the league, Optic, and then Chicago. So in terms of those first 20 points, I would say that Chicago has a really good chance of getting 20 points and making it to the semifinals, right? If you're Chicago and you win this matchup, that's 10 points. You win this matchup, that's 10 points. And then we'll see what happens as they move on to the semifinals down here. But they're basically, I don't want to say that it's guaranteed, but they have a much easier route to that 20 points. So if they get 20 points, that would put them in a tie for 
for a second here with Dallas. And I think the tiebreaker is head to head matchups. Normally that's how it's done before they go on to like map record and, and match record and all that stuff. So if they end up tying with Dallas, they would have the advantage over them because they beat them more times when they faced off head to head. But just to kind of review group B, this group is insane. So if we're thinking about this, you have Atlanta, you have Florida, and you have Dallas, all of which are basically at the top of the league, right? Atlanta and Florida have slipped maybe a tiny bit, and Dallas looks phenomenal. But the other thing here that I'm looking at is Minnesota. And I know that we've been we've been sleeping on Minnesota. They haven't played great over the last couple months. But if you've been following Chicago's team scrims, they just ended up beating Chicago in the best of five hard point. They took three maps. Chicago took two maps. And they looked really good. So I don't know if that's a mental hurdle that they have to get over or what. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's break down this day one matchup. So when it comes to Chicago, at their last event, CDL New York, they were 3-1 and one overall. They beat London, really good win. They beat New York, good win. They beat Atlanta, which was a phenomenal win. This is probably the most impre- impressive victory that we've seen the entire year. And then they got blown out by New York, as everybody else did. Um, New York was just unbelievable at this event. So the last time we saw them, they played pretty well, right? If we go over and we look at Seattle, last time we played them, they lost to London 3-1. We all know what happened with the disconnection and the the, the connectivity issues and all that stuff. Um, but they lost to London and they came out and they lost to Optic. Before that, they almost beat FaZe. This was CDL Minnesota about a month or so ago now. Then they came out and got a nice win over Rocker, but this was when Rocker had an injury, so Exceed was in, so they weren't at full strength. Uh, then Dallas absolutely blew him out, and that was that. So just based off of how teams have played lately, I think most people would agree that we're going to go ahead and we're going to put Chicago through here into round two. We're going to go ahead, and that means that Seattle is going to go down here to the loser's bracket. So first matchup out of the way. After that, we have Toronto versus OGLA. So if we go back to this and we look at Toronto's last event, which was CDL New York, they got a win over Paris, which was so-so. At the time, Paris wasn't phenomenal. Since then, they made it to a final, right? They're starting to pick things up a little bit. But the impressive win was this one, the 3-2 win over Atlanta before, again, getting smoked by New York like everybody else did that weekend. The one before that, again, they almost beat FaZe at CDL Paris before coming back, beating OGLA, and then losing to New York. Again, everybody's been using to New York, so it is what it is. But if we go ahead and we look at OGLA, this is kind of a tricky one for me because at CDL London, which was just a week ago, they almost clutched up and they beat, they almost beat Florida. They had a lead 5-4 in that search and destroy right here on Piccadilly and Florida ended up clutching up, winning back-to-back rounds, and they took it overall. After that, when it came to Seattle, they beat Seattle. This was fairly convincing. They lost to Dom, but Seattle's pretty good at Dom. But other than that, it was basically a blowout. 6-1 search and destroy, won by 100 in this last hard point. Then they came back. and They didn't play so great against Florida, but this team looked much better than it did when Dashi and Chino were in, right? Since the additions of Draza and Hollow, they really did look pretty good overall. So that's something to think about there. The event before that, which was Paris, this was their old roster, got beat by New York, got beat by Toronto. So this one's kind of tough for me because at first glance, you would probably think, well, Toronto's going to win this one. They've been playing really well as of late, but OGLA with their new roster did look pretty good and they're kind of that unknown, right? We don't know exactly how they're going to come out and play. So just to kind of err on the side of caution, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Toronto here, but I do think that this will be close and I would not be shocked at all if Optic comes out and wins that matchup, but we're going to put Toronto through. We're going to move OGLA down into the losers bracket, which will set up a day two matchup against the Seattle Surge. As we go over to group B over here, this is just a group of death, right? This is one of the toughest groups that we have seen the entire year. It starts here with Atlanta and Minnesota. So as we go through and we look at Atlanta, last time we saw them, they came out, which was CDL New York, got a win over LAG. Uh, Then we all know that they lost that matchup against Toronto came back, beat Paris when Paris was pretty down, uh, then got absolutely obliterated by Chicago. 
So that was the last time we saw them just a few short weeks ago. One before that, which was CDL Paris. They beat Toronto, beat New York. They beat Dallas. This was a really impressive victory over Dallas before getting shut out by Florida, which everybody else did that entire event. So they did kind of just run into a buzzsaw there. So if we're talking about Atlanta, they have had pretty um, pretty impressive matches as of late. If we go through and we look at Minnesota here, things have not been the same, right? So at CDL New York, they went 0-2, lost to New York, lost to London, got bounced. The tournament before that, their their homestead, which was CDL Minnesota, lost to Dallas, really bad loss to Seattle. Again, they weren't at full strength, but they got bounced. Event before that, they did get a win over OGLA, but then they lost to Chicago, lost to OGLA there in the loser's bracket finals. And then the one before that, they got a win over Florida, but this is when Florida went 0-2 at their own homestead and got bounced out. Then they lost to Toronto and lost to New York. So to kind of review what Minnesota has been doing as of late, they haven't looked great, but when you see them scrim, I know that their coach, Saint, was saying before their homestead, leading up to that and before the injury, it was some of the best that they've looked the entire year in scrims. Then they had the injury and things just hadn't gone gone their way. And, of course, they expected to play better at this New York event. And then we've seen them in scrims play pretty well also. So I don't know if they're full strength enough to contend with Atlanta like they did earlier on in the year when we were playing on land. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Atlanta through. But I expect this one to be really close, and it wouldn't sh- – It wouldn't shock me if it went to map five. It really wouldn't shock me if somehow Minnesota came out and ended up winning this one. Also, again, guys, Atlanta hasn't looked that great as of late, especially with the meta change. I don't want to say that they haven't looked great. They've looked good, right? But they haven't looked unbeatable like they did at the beginning of the year. Then the tough one for me, um, actually, I don't know. For me personally, this isn't really all that tough. Florida and Dallas, I'm going to put Dallas through and we'll go through the records, but I just have a ton of confidence in Dallas at the moment. I think that they're the best team in the game. They're my early prediction, if you could say it's early, to go ahead and win champs. But if we look here at what Florida has done at CDL London, they beat OGLA before losing to London beat OGLA, and then they got smoked by Dallas. The event before that, the two before that, so CDL Minnesota, 4-0 match count, beat Huntsman, beat LAG, beat Dallas, beat Atlanta, won the event. CDL Paris, beat Legion, beat Dallas, beat New York, beat Atlanta, won the event. But those two victories were at the last meta, so it's kind of tough to talk about that one. But when it comes to CDL London, they looked a little bit more vulnerable. I wish that they would have taken a map here against Dallas because then it would have been a little bit easier to say, well, maybe they can contend here. But they lost the hard point by 100, got absolutely blanked in the search and destroy 6-1, lost the Dom by 25. So it's really tough to pick Florida here, which is why we're going to go ahead. We're going to put Rocker in the loser's bracket here. We're going to put Florida in the loser's bracket. And this is a matchup that I'm really excited for when it comes to day two. Minnesota versus Florida would be a heck of a matchup and an opportunity for Minnesota to show that they're back, they can contend, and they should be in position as they get ready to head into the postseason here. One last thing that I'll talk about real quick is that for five for eight, this is pretty important also, right? So if you're looking at the seating here, five will play eight on that winner's round one, and six will play seven. So if we're looking at this, If you're Minnesota, if you get 20 points here, you can move up to fifth place, which means you'd probably end up playing Paris. So you would much rather play Paris than play London, right? That seems like, although Paris just played, I don't know. I mean, Paris just had, they they haven't won a match since four months ago, and then they come out and make it to a semifinal. This stuff is so hard to predict, especially with the online variable that we have going on right now. But traditionally, The way that London has been playing as of late, you would rather play Paris. Who knows if OGLA sneaks up here. If OGLA gets two wins, they sneak up into eighth, and now all of a sudden they're playing on day two instead of day one. So ton of implications here. As always, this is one of those videos down in the comments below. Who was your early pick? Who do you think is going to end up winning some of those massive matchups between Atlanta and Minnesota? If you think that Chicago is going to come out of Group A, do you think they'll get beat by Toronto possibly again in that winner's bracket final? All that 
leave it down below. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. It helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much. Look forward to our last event, CDL Toronto. I will be here 7.30 a.m. every day of the tournament. Make sure you come back. Check out my videos. Enjoy the tournament. We'll see you next time.